Carl Vader. Here's another look at ABC's Most Dangerous Man. The mold for the man has delivered a fighter, a physical and emotional modern-day gladiator cultivated in this stature by time. As a kid, you know, the things that happened to me, I, f I fought from anger. I was really good at football. I was really good at wrestling, you know, collegiate wrestling. But I took that out because of the things that happened to me in life. I used my anger in football and wrestling. Um, and now I go in and fight with skill. And I'm in control of my actions. Whereas before, I would just, you know, explode. Triggered by a troubled youth, the teen runaway seemed destined for destruction. But Ken's fate was dramatically altered by a man who would become his father. A man who recognized the promise. In fact, when he was in high school and even in his early 20s, I said, Ken, you should be born in gladiator time. Because, uh, you know, he just had that, that focus and that ability and uh, he was still angry at this time. When you want to do, you got to turn it this way or you got to turn it that way, right? This is the easiest way, right? And if you knew what he was like before and see how he pulled himself up by the bootstraps. It's a good one, but... It's like... Uh, building a house. I gave him the blueprints and some of the tools to work with, but he's the one that did the construction. You gotta put your arm in. Yeah, we won't put that on yet. Now, truly at home we'll with his wife Tina line. and their four children, Shamrock's family life provides more than balance. It is his anchor. There you go. Just don't put it on yet. Wait till you guys go out. You know, that's one thing that, um, when, as I was growing up, that I didn't have uh, was a family. It was, my family was broken up. My brothers were scattered all over the place and uh, so to me like um, um, family uh, is the biggest thing as far, as far as support in anything. Shamrock's arduous path has provided added appreciation for his life today. Right. Nice hit! Good run Ryan. Hey that's the way to stick the ball Ryan. You better pay attention. Pressure and all, you hit the ball. Good job. Now that I had my children, this is where my change came about. I became, I became important with, with my children, with my family, and I couldn't lose that. I, I became a person. And so now, <laughs> I don't do the event because I'm, I want to be important or because uh, I become somebody when I do it. I do it now because of the expectations I have of myself. I basically go from, you know, I'm at home, I hug my wife, I hug my children, I go out the door, I fly to where I'm going, I'm, uh, I talk to people, I'm another human being. But when I step into the arena, just the arena, don't have to be the ring, but just in the place where the event's gonna be, my, my focus starts to come in now. Like, I go into a zone. Uh, it's, my, it's my own zone, no one else can enter that zone. Um, it's like a basketball player or a football player or somebody that goes out for, for their event. They put themselves in a zone or in their own space, and no one can enter that space. Interwoven within the fabric of his emotions remains the soul of a warrior. Uniquely gifted and experienced at beating the odds, he is now set to define his legacy. There's one thing I've been waiting for my eight years of no-holds-barred fighting. There's always been a question asked to me. What if you fought Mike Tyson? Who would win? The reason why I made the challenge, the reason why I want to make the challenge is because that question is always asked to me, you know. I respect his ability as a boxer, um, um, but, um, you know, I don't respect some of the things that he has done. And yeah, he was probably lost and gone down different things, but you, you can't keep going back on that and blaming other people, and that's what he does. He blames other people for his problems, and to me, that's a bully. Bullies. Yes, are here in the world roster. Yeah, that's, that's, bullies, bullies are just about everywhere. Let me ask you. For all would-be challengers, a caveat should be recognized within Ken Shamrock's credo. I think better wants to try. I don't see failure. You know that word just doesn't mean in your mind. You do whatever it takes. Win.